Are you ready to buy a home? You feel it in your soul. You've been waiting to buy a home. You really want to buy a home. You're ready. But do you need just some solid, concrete evidence that you're actually ready to buy a home? That's what I'm here for today. I'm Stacy Christofferson with Coldwell Banker Realty in Farmington, Utah, and team lead for the C4 Real Estate team here also in Farmington. Farmington. Be sure to hit subscribe, just like that. Hit subscribe down below to join the growing community of C4 followers. We post videos every Monday, informative videos, pros and cons videos, um, things to do in Northern Utah videos. So you're gonna learn a ton just from subscribing to the channel. Be sure to hit like on the video, helps me out a ton. If you have some questions about real estate or even just about Utah, the first link in the description down below is Calendly. You just copy and paste that into your browser, set up an appointment, tell us you wanna chat. We'll give you a call as soon as one of us is available and we can set up a time to talk. We can answer your questions, um, set up a face-to-face, -face, go have coffee, ice cream, whatever tickles your fancy, and um, just answer your questions. So don't hesitate to go click the link down below for the Calendly, and let's get together. A good credit score is super important. It's gonna help you with your interest rate, it's gonna help with affordability, and of course, it's just gonna help with a super smooth, clean transaction. Um, what is a solid credit score? Because it really varies depending on what type of loan program you're gonna do. Um, it depends on debt to income ratio. It depends on all kinds of things. I would say as a benchmark, you wanna have at least a 650. Now, do some loan programs let you go lower? Yes, but do you pay for those in interest rate and potentially fees? You do. There's some really good first time home buyer programs that allow you to have a lower credit score, but you will, you will pay for it in some form or another within the loan. So 650 is like, I mean, it's, that's decent. Anything above that 700 up to 800, awesome. Good job, you've been paying your bills. You might be ready to buy a home. The second sign that you might be for ready to purchase a home, your debt is manageable. So you're not living paycheck to paycheck, right? You've got your, you're paying your credit card off in full every month, which I recommend if you can, but just if you can't, make a payment every month and no late fees. Again, back to step number one, credit score. But make, your debt is manageable, you're, you're paying your rent, you're buying groceries, you're doing everything you need to do and you have money left over. Good job, that's your second sign you might be ready to purchase a home. The third sign you're ready is you have saved enough money because you've managed your debt, you paid everything on time, you have saved for your down payment. Now, does every loan require a down payment? It does not. And the myth is that you have to have 20% down to buy a home. You do not. Matter of fact, if you are eligible for a VA loan, zero down payment, there are down payments as low as 3%, 5%, 10%, 20%. It totally depends what loan program you're going with. And in most cases, if you, like a conventional loan, if you don't have 20% down, you'll have a little bit of PMI. Prime mortgage insurance. Another video, but just so you know, that PMI payment is very manageable. People get intimidated by it. It's a very small amount and can be paid off as quickly as you can. So um, having that money saved for a down payment is also a sign you might be ready to buy a home. Sign number four, this might be a no brainer, but you're in a stable job. So you have to be employed when you buy a house. If you're self-employed, it's fine. There are certain rules and regulations with the lenders that I don't, I'm not privy to that information. I don't want to tell you wrong. But as long as you have a stable job, you haven't, you're not getting ready to quit a job, that's a terrible time to buy a house. Um, unless you quit your job, start a new one, and have 30 days in, then you're fine. But if you think you're gonna quit your job um, next week 
and you just got a house under contract, we might have we might have a problem. So just make sure you're in a stable position at your job. If you plan to stay there for six months or a month after closing and then do what you got to do. Another really good sign that you're ready is you know what you want. If you want a single family home, you need three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, an office, a fenced yard for the dog, maybe enough room for a trampoline. You want to be close to the mountains, but close enough to Salt Lake City that your commute's not bad. Um, what else do you want? You know what you want. You know where you want to be. You know what your mortgage payment's going to be. You know what your loan is going to be because you've talked to a lender. You're pre-approved. You know what's going on. You know what you want, what kind of house you want, and where you want to be. That's your fifth sign you might be ready to buy a home. The next sign you might be ready to buy a home is totally out of your control. If you're renting and your rent keeps going up every six months, every year, making your debt more unmanageable, it might be time to buy a house. When you have a mortgage payment, that mortgage payment stays exactly the same for the life of the loan, give or take, during tax season uh, when they assess the value. It could go up, but it could also go down. Also, don't let these interest rates scare you because although your payment's a little bit higher now, you can refinance when they go down and lower your payment that you've, you know, you've already budgeted for the higher payment. So when the rates go down, you refinance and you can save some money there too. So if your rent keeps going up and is making other things unmanageable for you financially, it might be a sign that it's time to buy a home. So you saved your down payment, great job. Your debt is manageable, awesome. Rent keeps going up, but you still had the ability to save for some emergency funds. Purchasing a home is, can be expensive. You could move in and the water heater goes out. Now, if your agent's good, like the C4 real estate team, we would have gotten you a home warranty for that. However, you wanna move in, you wanna paint a room, or you wanna put new flooring in, or just some emergency happens. They just happen. Owning a home is damage mitigation sometimes. You know, you just, day to day, you never know what's gonna pop up. So if you've saved money in an emergency fund, it might be a great sign that you're ready to buy a home. If you've listened to this video and you even have four or five of the seven signs that we just went over, give us a call. Again, click that link down below for Calendly, let's talk about it. It might, you might be ready. You might be ready to purchase a home. It's a great investment. It's a tax write-off and you get, you have something that you get to call your own. It's awesome. So thanks for watching and tune in next week.